Hey guys and welcome back to OpenTTD. So, 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 we were checking out that we had enough things grabbing engineering supplies from here, which unfortunately is going to take a little while to work through the backlog, so we're going to have to have a little watch of this to make sure. Well, right now it looks like we can do with another couple. Yeah, it looks like they're constantly full. Yeah, I could probably do with another two, to be fair. So, what's our... No, our engineering supplies are sitting at 12 right now, so there's one waiting. See, we did have a backlog, so... But I don't know if we wasted any engineering supplies. 25 there now. Oh, looks fine. I was going to say, as long as the freaking trains get here quick enough. That doesn't just fill up with... Uh, with trains looking for engineering supplies. Right. No, it seems pretty fine. The issue is, and that's that's just had a knock-on effect on other stuff, so I've added two new engineering supplies things there. Which means that we're going to start gung hoing this constantly. As you'll see. So, what happens with that is we need to grab yet another iron ore truck. Alright, and this needs to be called the Isabel. Alright, and that'll go and get iron ore. I need to actually. Delete my train names right now so I don't get mixed up. So that'll go and get iron ore now, with everything being gung ho And then more iron ore. That's just constantly staying at gung ho, which is awesome. Break down. So with more iron ore getting made, that means that we're going to need more steel collection. Luckily, I hadn't set up the steel collection yet. There definitely is trucks that come up here and grab, grab steel though, isn't there? Sure there is, sure there is, must be. Did I? Ah, oh, yeah! There you go, there's a, there's a bolster truck there that makes uh, a bolster truck, a train that grabs steel. So let's clone you, the bulb cost us. And you need to be the conga line. Go! And on top of that you need to be... I'm, going to need, I'm definitely going to need another one. I know I'm going to need another one. The Thanatopsis. Thanatopsis. Oops. I may have made them in the wrong place, but luckily we still have that crossover. There we go. And there she is, with more steel, means more engineering supplies up at the other end. So we're going to need to work out what I do with the engineering supplies up at the other side. And we're also going to have some more farm supplies, but I know exactly what to do with those. Alright, and <laughs> bat train. That's a shame that subtrain's not doing too good. Ned, Ned and Neddy. Oh that's the that's that new box site thing that I made. I wouldn't expect them to make much. Alright, let's see if No, nope, looks fine. Looks like we've got plenty. Uh Right, the thing is, we've overall got a lot less trains now on this system. Are you going to get moving? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it looks fine. We should start sidelining some of these uh, depots and things, but yeah. Something broke down there. Yeah, it's looking good. 
Everything's kind of just getting on with it. Okay, how are we doing up here then? Not so far. How are we doing up here? Not great, let's say. That, the main thing that that does is it takes stuff to here and tries to constantly keep this gung-ho, so. I think it does well though, I think this is kept gung-ho, like, permanently. Although it's not received any supplies in a little while. Although, three months is a long time. Yep, there you go. And there's more. I don't know how long it takes one train to get up. Uh, it's pretty easy to check though, because you just go... Right, are you one of them that goes to the oil field? Yeah. <laughs> Four days, 41 days, yeah. So it takes a round trip of... Oh, uh, well, well, pretty much two months. So one train could probably keep that constantly gung hold. But I mean, yeah, what's the what's the difference? Can I get a train? Wonder what'd happen if I'd done this. There we go, and get you to grab engineering supplies. Wait, you go to here? No, no. Go to machine shop one and fully load. Then go to machine shop one and unload. What would happen if I'd done that? I'm going to rename you for now anyway. You're going to be the Duncan. I don't know what way you would travel either. Oh, okay. You would do that. Is that gone what? Oh, it doesn't. It's really weird. Does it need to like pick it up and leave and then no, because it's just like shimmies about in the one place. Alright, just just head back, because you're not doing anything even remotely useful. And then I'll I'll find somewhere else for you to go. Oh, it wasn't... Uh, right, okay. This is... Unload and no loading. What happens if I tell you to do that? This is for science. For science. No, <laughs> that's a weird place for it to turn around, but okay. We've got a lot of engineering supplies sitting there in crates. 777,000 in one trip. That's insane. Alright, so you're going to pick up. And then you're going to move forward a wee bit. And then you're going to drop it off. Nope, you don't do anything. Just go. I'll find somewhere else for you to go. Right, so... Coal mine takes engineering supplies, does it? Yep. So instead of going there, why don't you go to here? And unload everything. There you go, Duncan. Knock yourself out. And then what we can do is we can grab a chip station, one of these. Uh, two tracks of six platform length. There we are. Okay, and grab a exit signal here. There we are. Speed it up, and we'll see if we can keep this at gung ho. I think it's close enough that it should be able to, just one train. Oh, 
although it may mean that I need to Where's the nearest one? Here. May mean that I'll need to clone some of these guys. Wait, it's now it's now gung ho. Alright, so you're maxed. You're gathering. Let's see if it gets to like 80 odd percent without the other one arriving. Actually, let's. Yeah, okay, we need another one here. Right, do your thing. You need to be called the. Um. Yeah, the that some yeah. I was trying to think if I had one, but I don't. Yeah, and that's going to keep that gung ho constantly. Oh, I must have grabbed that at the wrong side. Whoops. My bad. Well, let's see if that's enough to keep this going. Might not be actually. Hmm. So we might need another one. All right, and you can be called the optimistic. Wait. All right. So that's the like four trains that we've got on this. That's insane. Considering it was just two trains that were we're barely managing to load. Right, I should put them all into a decent rotation then. Once they start heading in and slowing down and stuff. There you go. Then we have another one heading in. Hopefully anyway. I'm going to need to sort out the... That steel again. Yeah, that's a little... A little train seems to be working pretty well. Alright, that seems alright then. Let's head over to the steel again. And it definitely looks like we could do with some more... Some more trucks taking steel. Alright, so let's clone you. And get you going. That's an expensive fucking train. Alright, you are the Daniel Barrett. Alright. And I can tell you now, even though there's another train coming in, this one will probably need an extra one. So, we will make the flying Pussyfoot. There we go. See, we might, like, we've got a lot of trains now sitting, but they'll all start to even themselves out. Because we're going to have a lot of trains coming into this place. Hmm. Is there a hold up? Or something that broke. Is that waited for ages and then two trains come in at once? Uh, looks like we could do with another flying pussy foot. And you shall be the rock and roll train. Right. There we are. Super speed. You can pick up whatever steel's there, and then wait for another thing to come in. There's a lot of hold up on this place, it looks like. I'm not sure what's causing it. I've got one one area where I've got a lot of traffic, which is the issue. 
one main area. Like this bit here. Uh, 40 million at you. I don't know, have a, have a little look around to see if there are any massive traffic holdups, but it, it seems alright. Yeah, we don't seem to have any. This little area here is probably going to be a holdup. Hmm, not sure. Bat train's profit was pish last year, apparently. Yeah, they all seem they all seem to be fine. It's just a case of uh, if a train breaks down, really, that the rest of them have issues. And these. These super fucking tight turns here. That's the thing, like, I could... I could change this here to be like that. Um... Watch that up a little bit. Uh, what if we grab the rain? Up a tad. There we go. Oop. Oop, there we are. That's just a wee causeway that we've made. There we go, and delete that. Shove that there. There we go. So now that's got a lot less slowdown on that corner. There we are, so a train should fly down here, do their shimmy and come up and round without any issues. Unless they, they break fucking down. There we go, so they should be able just to plow through there. But should ease any slowdowns from that. And obviously you've got, I don't know what I just done there, I just bought track somewhere. No, no doubt I'll find a, a piece of erroneous track. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, so now all I need to do is just look for any massive slowdowns and then kind of sort them, but everything seems alright. I still don't like this, but unfortunately due to the way, due to where it's all positioned it'd be a nightmare to try and fix it. Mm, I mean, ugh. I could pull it around here and then fix it against this, where I've got space behind it, but because this, uh, this wee town here is in the fucking way. I also need to find if there's any other places that have got the need engineering supplies, because I've got a ton of them. I don't think so, I think everything's gung-ho now. All of that is. I mean, we need to connect up the two maglev systems as well. How's my new system getting on? I actually had a good look at that. 147. Hmm, could probably do with a couple more trains on the... The Studioville East side. 
He has 4,000 tons of bauxite sitting there. He's... How much do these carry? Plus, plus, plus. Well, that does anything. How much do you carry? They only carry 37 tons. There's 4,000 tons sitting there. Are you for real? Right, we'll have to sort that in the next episode. But for now, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Cedric. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.